choosing the best sequence settings in Premiere Pro. Greetings Premiere Pro enthusiasts! Selecting the right sequence settings is crucial for ensuring optimal editing performance and final video quality. Let's explore how to choose the best sequence settings in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Before creating a sequence, consider the intended output of your project. Are you editing a video for YouTube, broadcast, social media, or film? Understanding your project's delivery specifications will guide your sequence settings. For most projects, it's advisable to create a sequence that matches the settings of your source footage. Right click on a video clip in the projects panel and select new sequence from clip or choose match sequence settings when creating a new sequence. If your footage has various resolutions, frame rates or aspect ratios, you may need to create a custom sequence. So go to file, new, sequence and manually enter the desired resolution, frame rate and aspect ratio. For high definition projects, use a resolution of 1920 times 1080 pixels or higher. Choose a frame rate that matches the frame rate of your source footage or the delivery platform. For example, 24 FPS for film or 30 FPS for web or 60 FPS for gaming content. Select the appropriate aspect ratio based on your project's requirements. For standard videos, use a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. For vertical videos, for example, Instagram stories, use a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. Ensure that your sequence settings include the correct audio configuration. So use a sample rate of 48 kHz and configure audio channels based on your source footage. For example, stereo for most projects. After creating your sequence, preview it to ensure that the settings match your project's requirements. Make any necessary adjustments before starting your editing process. If you frequently work on projects with similar settings, consider saving your custom sequence settings as presets for easy access in the future. Excellent job! By choosing the best sequence settings in Premiere Pro, you're setting yourself up for success in your editing workflow. Remember to tailor your settings to match your project's needs and enjoy the creative process. Happy editing, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.